Hello Collective, it's Kai. Today we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about giving gratitude to the past relationships that one has been in after experiencing and expressing your emotions, whether it was pain, um, fear, and absence of love. So maybe more of the negative aspects of a breakup, in other words. Um, just to kind of give a little preface on my own situation, I definitely did not take um, the breakups well <laughs> for a certain period of time. And it really affected me. Like, it really affected me. I felt abandoned. Um, I felt hurt, despair, grief, sorrow, uh, hopelessness. Um, man, I wish I had my wheel of emotions right now. But uh, those are just a few of the emotions that I feared or feared. Feel, felt, fuck, bro, fuck, <laughs> felt, um, but there was fear, definitely, there was a lot of fear of people leaving me out of nowhere, there was a lot of fear of, um, sharing that such a, such a beautiful and pure part of myself with someone, and then them just deciding to leave, and not, like, and feeling like it's too much or something, uh, a lot of fear with feeling like, some person is going to like say to me that I deserve better that was something that I processed so that's just a little bit about the information of that but uh, I also apologize that's my dog but um I drew some cards to kind of relay this information to you guys a little bit more clearly because at the same time though yes I I definitely am at a point where I can say these things about these past people is I'm really grateful. I'm actually really fucking grateful that I was able to experience these relationships because it actually has taught me a lot about myself, about the ways in which I love, the ways in which I wish to communicate and commune with someone, the, the forms of expressions that come for me, at least because I practice monogamy and I, um, I mean, I'm I'm really open to being like the third party, in other words, but like the consensual third party because, oh God, like, anyways, don't want to get into that today, but I wanted to send gratitude because I have been like, I felt the, this deep sense of appreciation and gratitude for those people. And I've only been in two relationships. So if you guys see this, thank you. Um, I really do appreciate your presence and the um, attention and care that you guys have shown me. You guys were great partners and I, sorry to talk about you guys both together, but like, I really do appreciate it because at the same time, though yes, it didn't work out, it was just meant to be like that. And I really do truly believe that. And so with that in mind, I've also understood that I do desire someone who communes with me, but my standards are pretty high because of those relationships too. And it's not to forsake any of the pain, the challenges, the lessons, the conflict even that has happened and the part that I played in that. I definitely have understood that there is a need for self-accountability when it comes to calling in a partner that I can commune with in this point in my life, in this presence that I have cultivated that i have continued to also preserve like that loving compassion the the innocence the youthfulness the childlike behaviors and com like communing with someone in that manner has been something that i've that has been brought to my attention that i i was afraid of i was afraid of showing such a cute side of myself and it was in this period of time where i actually was like falling for someone and it was very unrequited and so I wasn't able to feel that reciprocation from this person and so therefore all of the trauma came up for me and it was crazy because I totally knew that had nothing to do with them but at the same time they triggered it and so I was just like oh my gosh like like I was expecting things from them I was trying to gain a closer connection with them but none of it was truly coming from a pure presence because i was so dysregulated at the time so acknowledging that even in this process of life that i myself have points in time where i'm just simply not receptive 
I'm not receptive to truly being in a communion with someone, right? For example, like I wasn't ready. I wasn't fucking ready, but I really wanted it and I desired it and I tried to force myself. I tried to force the connection. Oh God, but it's, it's so important because I don't regret any of those decisions. I don't regret like, well, okay. I don't regret feeling those emotions towards these people, whether it's these past relationships, whether it's these crushes that I've had. And I've only had, oh my God, I've only had two crushes after my relationships have ended. So that just shows so much about myself. <laughs> but either way, um, I've been gaining a wider perspective because of my um, communion with my friends and the community that I've been connecting with. And because of this, though, I've also understood what it feels like to have a healthy connection with someone. And therefore, from this, like, new experience because like I've honestly not once ever felt like there's been a healthy enough connection in my life where I'm like ah I feel safe I can be myself I can continue to change and evolve and this person will support me no matter what like even when they're going through a hard time they will make efforts to show me support and I understand that in their own ways okay not necessarily in the ways that I do it <laughs> It's also important for me to acknowledge that I'm here for myself and I support myself and give myself and fulfill my needs for myself so that I'm not attaching or projecting that lack of to this other person, right? So even platonically. But when it comes to romantic relationships, I've also understood that I'm a very clear person. I am very, like, I choose people and because of that, I have to respect that. I have to respect this process. And even if there's no reciprocation, it doesn't define like, oh, that was a bad choice or like whatever. Like there is this phrase that's been coming up in many of my readings, like from other people where it's just like right person, wrong time. And I'm like, but time's a construct. So it's right person, but wrong presence. And I'm like, you know what though? me even saying that i just totally just said that just now and i'm like that actually makes so much fucking sense and um but to kind of circle back to what i was saying the gratitude for my past relationships the reason why i believe that this is significant and important is because i've acknowledged that they actually showed up in so many positive and loving compassionate ways that i honestly because of how much pain that I was like not only immersed and like willing to experience it was also attaching to that experience and being very self-deprecating like victim mentality attachment um like codependency those kinds of things right like because I was so immersed in that experience I have finally found myself in a place right here right now where I can say thank you like thank you for walking away thank you for being a part of my life a part and point in time of my life where yes it's in the past and now I'm finally able to just like come full circle and like em embrace it and show love to the situation I I pulled these cards because I like was like connecting with myself right and i just kind of <laughs> i just kind of laughed because it was just so perfect the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love it's so true it's so true though because i did love them i still love them in a way where it's like i wish you the best i wish you the best i hope you find like happiness whether that has been achieved already or not because from the point in time that we disconnected like i didn't feel like one person at least wasn't very happy and so i just honestly really wish them to be healthy and happy and like even if it didn't mean even if it doesn't mean that i need to be in their life in order for them to achieve that it doesn't matter it's just as long as you're healthy and happy and safe like i just wish that for you so much and so i'm not gonna say your name but peng yang i wish you the best still i hope you're happy and healthier and that's you're just experiencing joy, peace, and love to the best of your capacity. Um, but yeah, I have acknowledged that there is a very precious part in my soul that 
has um, experienced them and it's really cool because I totally was like I'm just not gonna think about it like it's in the past like whatever like let's just move forward but in reality it's a part of me like that precious part of me that I showed them oh my gosh like we're not gonna go into it because that's mm -hmm. but um I'm really grateful. It's expanded my awareness because of this presence that I'm in right now and reflecting and looking back on those experiences to understand myself more because I do I do call in a new partnership with someone and it's like I have to understand how I was in relationships in the past. Not only the negative aspects because I did have a tendency to go super deep into that and just like be like i need to change <laughs> but like and taking accountability of course for my own actions behaviors words unalignment disalignment anyways but i i also had to reflect and look back on those relationships because i had to see that there are so many parts of myself in those moments that i had to acknowledge is how i am when i love someone it is how i am and how I wish to be and how I continue to be. I love in a very cute but also sexy, sensual, sexual way. And I really do love being safe and cute and reassuring and resilient and integrity. Integrity is so strong when it comes to that. I'm here to show up for you and support you. And so that has honestly come full circle on like acknowledging that that's how I was. That's how I perceive myself at least. And though I do not have the opportunity to talk to these people anymore because I have really, they're just not in my life. But um, it's important for me to remain um, centered, centered in the source of these intentionally pure um, emotions, values that I have, which is love, peace, and joy. And so i i'm really seeing a fresh perspective for certain for sure for the fucking blah. anyways i need to eat it's blah. but uh thank you for listening this one was a kind of like a different video because i i don't really talk enough about my own personal experience i i feel like sometimes i've noticed a pattern with like saying things in a general aspect and more so about what i've learned and i kind of want it to be like a more progressive thing like this is the present moment this is what i'm feeling experiencing um analyzing intellectualizing even like these are the things that are currently present in my own presence and have my attention so <laughs> i love this love makes the difference love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth so true i feel a lot more secure in myself i feel a lot more self-worthy like worthy for myself you know and it's a really interesting process because i was so debilitated from those breakups like even from the rejection from this person like the most recent person like it just blows my mind because i have been able to catch myself a lot more like quickly and not in a way where it's rushed, but it's actually in a way where I'm understanding that I feel so fucking deep. Of course my pain is gonna be fucking excruciating. Like, fuck. Like, when I saw this person again, I think what really passed through my mind, like the most recent time that I saw this person that I used to have um, unrequited love for, it was really interesting because I had to acknowledge when I was meditating before the party, like, I felt so much fear. I felt so much fear. I cried really as if I was grieving someone who wasn't here anymore. And I had to acknowledge that. I had to acknowledge that. Cause I was like, I'm not going to invalidate my whole experience with this. Like, you know, and so maintaining my boundaries, not even speaking to them, unless it was like through a communal, like we're all here collectively and like we're here to like do a certain activity and like maybe even being a little prof professional in that manner but like i i wish them the best as well like i wish all the people that i've liked the best and even the people that i don't like like i i wish everyone the best because holy fuck like to get to this point and like to actually have like 
like that security in myself like to have this security within myself is so this level of awareness of my security is so new it's so fucking new and it feels good but it's like it's something that i have to continue to practice and so it's like being accountable for my own actions behaviors and my words but yeah thank you once again for being here this is um kind of the energy uh i wish to continue to emulate um i am sending you the best on your own spiritual journey if you have anything that you wish to maybe conversate about feel free feel free to ask questions like ask questions inquire about where maybe i'm coming from because obviously this is just such a this is such a a free form of like the actual whole entirety of my experience and so i really want to make it clear like yes i do appreciate the comments um and even the compliments but it's like i'm not here to like get approval you know what i mean i'm like here to actually talk about these things with you guys so if you have any like personal experience that you are open to sharing if maybe you have inquiry on my own experience and like how i've processed certain types of things and i might not even know like i might not even know my own answer to that so i will be vulnerable honest and authentic in that way um but i just want to let you guys know that this is how i wish to commune with you guys so yeah thank you so much thank you for being alive thank you for being here thank you for being you and i wish you the best on your own spiritual journey okay much love